she to fix him Yeah, that girl really knew her business Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member of Confidence Club Cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned the bus Hi guys, good morning. Today is Tuesday, Mar um, February 27th, and it's currently 12. It's currently 12:28 a.m. 12:28 p.m. And I am working from home today, but I'm leaving for Toronto very soon. Um, there is a work conference I'm attending in Toronto tomorrow. The conference is tomorrow, but I'm leaving today, so I'm going to be in Toronto for the night and. I wanted to take you guys along. This is the beginning of a new vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> like I haven't started my vlog this way in a very long time. So welcome guys to a new vlog. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dami and I'm a YouTuber based in London, Ontario, Canada. And welcome to my vlog. I do lifestyle videos like this one. I also do some immigration content as well because I came to Canada as a student. So I like to share the different pathways available to come to Canada as well, if you want to do that. So today, like I said, I'm going to Toronto and I wanted to take you guys along with me for a work trip. Um, that's why I'm starting this vlog right now. I have to catch a train from London to Toronto by 3.40 p.m. I think the train leaves at 3.40, but I also wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail this big box came in the mail like i don't even know how to carry it because it's so huge this box came in the mail and i haven't opened it so i'm going to be unboxing this with you guys this is what it looks like if you guys remember i've teddy blake was the first brand that i worked with when i came to canada um they were the first ever brand that reached out to me and I'm working with them again and i'm super excited this time they sent me this very beautiful i know the bag inside because i chose the bag myself um they sent they sent me this beautiful box i mean the packaging if you guys can remember if i can if i still have a video of the unboxing um of the initial bag of the first bag that they sent to me i will insert it somewhere if i can find it but the packaging always they always get the packaging right like this box screams luxury luxury <laughs> it screams luxury and i'll be unboxing the bag with you guys So this is what the bag looks like. This is so beautiful. This is a really, really gorgeous. The first bag I got from Teddy Blake is already three years old and this bag has not changed. It's the same way it has been since three years. So I can testify that Teddy Blake sells like 
they make really high quality bags they make um top-notch designs and this design is like it's very corporate but you can i can still envision myself using this bag for something a bit less corporate so and i've been looking for a work bag for like the longest time so this is perfect for like work this is perfect for like a trip um you want something that can take a lot of stuff the compartment or the space in this bag is a lot so you can you can definitely know that you're getting your money's worth another thing i know about teddy blake just from experience working with it working and using teddy blake bags is that it is real italian leather i know that the first time that i got a teddy blake bag i was a bit i was like this is definitely like quality italian leather and like i said it lasts forever so this bag is quality italian leather but when you know when you know a quality bag you know a quality bag and another thing another feature that i love about this bag is the red interior like take my money the red interior of this bag is a is a steel that's that was one of the reasons i uh picked this bag or that was one of the reasons i wanted this bag um the red interior i'm like it's black on the outside but red on the inside that's just luxury you guys should go grab yours uh, i'll put the link in the description box and feel free to go copy your own go get your own teddy blake bag also don't forget to use my discount code i'll link it in the description as well so that you get some coins off your purchase okay and when you make when you purchase your own bag feel free to let me know dm me on instagram let me know that you've purchased your own teddy blake bag okay so we can twin i'm going for the conference today and the conference i'm going for i already know that this is the bag i'm going to pick so i'm going to change everything i'm going to move my laptop and all the things that i need from my work bag into this bag this bag has become officially my work bag starting today so <laughs> So I just finished parking for my trip. It is currently past one o'clock and I want to um, I want to go take a shower now. I need to be out of this house in about an hour an hour 30 minutes because my train leaves at 3.45 and I need to be out of this house at least at 3.15. The train station is just about 10 minutes, 12 minutes drive from my house and my brother is around so he's going to drop me off at the train station. So I need to go take a shower because I still have a few things to do here and there, like few work to do here and there. So yeah, I need to go take a shower now and I'll see you guys probably when I'm about to step out of the house. Yeah, probably when I'm about to step out of the house because I, I have very, very limited time left and I need to finish everything that I'm doing today. So yeah. <laughs> hi guys so i am um, i have just left the house uh, i think i left the house about three minutes ago and i am <laughs> you should please my brother is making me laugh <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway i left the house about three minutes ago and i'm going to catch my train now i am always last minute queen my train is leaving eh? it's time what time is your train 345. And this one says we'll get it by 339. Ah! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Zoom it! Zoom it, what? <laughs> <laughs> I always, every time, see, I was not doing anything, oh, guys. I wasn't doing anything at all. I was done for the past maybe 40 minutes and I was just sitting down chilling. Now I'm rushing. That's, how, that's what I do every time. But anyway, I'm on my way right now to the train station. 
I'm on my way to the train station right now and um, I just have I have about 10, 10 minutes to get there and my train leaves in about 15 minutes so there is no time to waste fly the car fly the car but anyway I look cute and um, I'll talk to you guys probably when I get to the train station or maybe when I get to Toronto anytime I have like some time to spare I'll talk to you guys Hi guys, so I got to Toronto and I'm starving. So I came to get um, something from because I'm waiting for my Uber Uber Eats um, delivery to arrive. Hi guys, good morning. Um, this AC is really making noise. I don't know this kind of room. But anyway, um, it is the next day. Today is the conference. And I want to go shower right now uh, so that I can go downstairs for breakfast. The conference starts at 8, 8, 8.15, but that's, that's registration. So we plan to get to the conference at like 8.30. It's currently 6.00. 55 yeah 655 and i want to take a shower i want to also film a tiktok get ready with me i don't know if i'm going to be able to do all this this morning but i realized that i forgot toothpaste so i want to go downstairs to see if i can find um if they can give me toothpaste in the reception yeah so that's absolutely that's the plan um i have to try to get ready in about an hour so yeah I'll talk to you guys um, probably when I finish taking a shower because I am running late right now. Um, yeah. I got the toothpaste and I can brush my teeth now because I was a bit nervous that I would take my dirty mouth everywhere today. But, yeah. <laughs> So I'm ready and this is what I look like. I'm going downstairs to get breakfast right now. And obviously I have my teddy big bag with me. Uh, yeah. Um, one of my observations is that the culture has been very this, this morning in organizations has shifted and Thank you. I've, I've lost my airpods like 50 million times. I want to look for this little one. 
because I don't think I can continue my life without a pot at this point. So, as in, I wish I could get the AirPods Pro. I can't get it anymore because that was the, I've used the AirPods Pro twice and it keeps getting missing. So at this point, I think I'll get the I think I'll get the AirPods second generation. This is so sad. The, the price the price difference is too much. I was using this one. I was using the AirPods Pro but I lost one year then now I've lost the second year now I have to deal with using the this one or maybe I could get the AirPods oh this was the one I used this was the first one I used actually I used this one this was the first AirPods I used I lost it then I had to get the third gen and now I have to go back to so imagine having to decline god forbid I reject, decli I, I reject declining in my life but I don't have money for this one. I just need something. The thing is, I just need something to use, and I I can't afford to buy like AirPods Pro right now. So what do I do? Yeah. I've moved forward because I don't think it's my type you're looking for there. I don't think I can afford to buy any AirPods right now. As in, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm supposed to meet to start to begin the process of saying I want to buy a pot. I really need one. Like, I can't continue my life like this. I can't at this point. I can't. Hi, guys. So, I got back home some minutes ago and I got the airports from Costco. It's so dark. Well, I know you guys can see me, so I won't mind. Um, I got the AirPods from Costco and I got the second gen generation um, AirPod Pro. So that one was about two hundred and eight dollars, two o eight. At least that was one I had. That was the last one I had that got missing. So I, I think it wasn't too bad. I liked it when I used it. I have never. I didn't. I never used the long one. I can't remember what it's called. The AirPods the first airpods like the first generation or something i don't know what it's called but i've never used that one this the cheaper one i've never used it before the first airpod i actually used was the third gen then um i got the case got spoiled i lost one year then i got the second gen i've been trying my best to like get adjusted to not using airpods but trust me it's so difficult i just have to get that one i got it for two weeks and i just left it and the other thing i got is sushi i felt like eating sushi so after i got the airport i just ran to the sushi aisle i didn't look at any other thing i only went to sushi and i got sushi and airports because the the cost of the airport was already annoying me so i didn't want anything to add to my annoyance so i got sushi and that's going to be my dinner for today i'm watching one day i don't know if you guys know one day i'm watching one day it's a, it's a show that i started i think about three weeks ago or about two weeks ago and i just haven't gotten to finish it but i'm hoping to finish it today i have just two episodes left i'm on the ninth episode and it has 11 episodes in total so it's not bad it's a good it's a good show it's it's a fun show um what prompted me to watch it was because a lot of people on social media were like it's so nice it's very emotional if you don't watch it if you watch it and you don't cry there's something wrong with you i haven't cried yet but i'm still watching it i'm hoping that i enjoy it at the end of everything I, like it's not like i'm hoping i already know that i enjoy the show it's a nice show but it's i haven't i haven't seen the emotions that people are talking about maybe it's the last episode maybe it's the it's towards the end but i feel like if there's something more emotional about the show i should have seen it by now but i'll keep you guys posted once i finish it if it's if if i cry i will let you guys know okay so this is me editing the video i finished the show a few days ago and i did not give you guys an update the show made me cry it had 14 episodes i thought it had 11. um the 13th episode was the part that was so emotional and if you want to watch it, it's a very good show. Feel free to watch it at your own time. And if you don't want to cry, maybe you should keep watching it because you would definitely cry at the 13th episode. <laughs> but I had a good day at work today. It was a good day. It wasn't too busy until towards the end. I don't know if you guys know that kind of day. It started getting busy towards like 2 o'clock and I was meant to leave at 4.30. I didn't leave until 5 because I still had work to do. 
but i'm still going into the office tomorrow so there's no cause for alarm anyway i'll talk to you guys later i need to munch on my on my sushi and watch this show and i'll talk to you guys bye hi guys uh how are you guys doing today is saturday and um i just finished filming a video and this video actually goes up tomorrow which is crazy i'm filming the video i will do the video today and the video will go up tomorrow and that's because i did not the video i was meant to go the vlog that was meant to go up tomorrow it's all over the place i cannot i don't think i can get myself to actually put the vlog together and post it tomorrow so i filmed this video for you guys i'm really excited for this one and i hope you will enjoy it by the time you're, by the time this vlog is is out the video is obviously out so i'm going to link it so if you have not watched it go and watch it it's about how to get a job coming from the perspective of an hr person so i'm excited for that video and i want to do more of that kind of video so if i see a good engagement with that video i'll probably do more of those kind um i did my i did makeup I, it was a very very simple makeup it took me about 15 minutes to do this makeup so and that's why my eyebrow looks funny <laughs> but anyway um i'm going downstairs i've only eaten one time today and it's currently it's currently 5 5 it's currently 5 42 and i've only eaten once today i ate in the morning and i'm going to look forward to it right now because on god they catch me anyway guys um uh, tomorrow is sunday i'm going to church i don't think i'll be vlogging to today but i'll try to vlog tomorrow i'm going to church and i'm also going to my sister-in-law's place because it's her birthday on monday so anyway <laughs> i'm going there so i'll probably vlog at their place and yeah i'll see you guys some other time um so i'll see you guys tomorrow probably before on my way to church or something on my way after church so hi guys of compassion and love not birth in something that i have to generate but something that god is reflecting and producing in my life it produces a contrition in my heart a humility and a submission to the will of god that says not what i want but what he wants because i am absolutely convinced that what God wants for my life is better than anything I could ever dream or conjure. And so I walk in. To ask the dogs to sleep, the spirits are looking at the outside of the gym. One and two. guys good morning i'm not sure if this is the beginning of a new vlog i guess not yeah i think i started the vlog on, on sunday good morning guys um today is thursday yeah and i am um on my way to work it's currently just about 7 7 35 and yesterday i i vlogged it i didn't vlog let me not say i vlogged but i went for a career fair yesterday and um at Fanshawe College, if you're a student of Fanshawe College, I met a lot of subscribers yesterday. I mean, I met so many subscribers, I, I became shy at some point. I'm like, uh, uh, I wasn't really sure how to react. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't really sure how to react, but I, I met a lot of subscribers. It was beautiful seeing you guys. It was beautiful you guys coming up to me. I, uh, thank you, thank you all so much for, for coming to say hello and it was, it was really really appreciated i didn't know how to react at all i was trying to keep it professional but i was still trying to acknowledge that you guys were oh the sun is too much i was still trying to acknowledge that you guys were were coming over to say hello to me so thank you guys so much for coming i already feel like it's the weekend i already feel weekendy right now it feels like um it's gonna be a great weekend uh, yeah i'll see you guys probably after work because i'm not I, I don't intend on vlogging myself at work today but i think i'll see you guys after work and probably tomorrow i'm working from home tomorrow i have a few things to do tomorrow as well but i don't think i want to say them on this vlog yet because it may be a totally different vlog on its own so yeah i'll see you guys let me focus on my driving before somebody will Come and tell me something. <laughs> I can I look a mess, I know. 
now i don't look the greatest and i don't feel the greatest why is this thing dangling i was recording and every, and it just went off like it just stopped recording and i did not know but anyway i was saying that i feel very sick and i look sick i'm not sure why i feel sick and i'm not sure exactly what's going on but i don't feel the greatest right now so i'm going to the grocery store there's a grocery store about two um i'm missing the place oh this is not good that's not the place <laughs> it's the next one there's a grocery store just close to my office and i want to go there to find something to buy i honestly do not feel the greatest i'll probably leave work soon i don't know if i'll be able to go through the day at work like i look sick i know i look sick and i know i feel sick but anyway i'll talk to you guys sometime soon um yeah i just got to where i'm going to so So I ended up getting chicken from the store and I'm just about to head back to work so I can have my lunch and then look for something else to do with myself.